Nevada's average gas price is down 23 cents from the same time a month ago. AAA statistics released Tuesday show the average price was $3.16 per gallon, lower than the national mark of $3.30. The state's most expensive gas it was in Sparks, where the average price was $3.36 per gallon. North Las Vegas is on the low end, with an average gas price of $3.09 per gallon. AAA officials say that gas should be cheaper in 2013 than it was in 2012, when prices elevated for the first three months of the year because of tensions with Iran. Utah claims the nation's cheapest gas with an average price of $2.90 per gallon. Wailuku, Hawaii is the most expensive metro area with gas averaging $4.02 per gallon. Statistics released Tuesday by the Greater Las Vegas Association of Realtors show a mere five weeks worth of inventory left at the end of 2012. The median price for a single family home sold in December was $149,000, up 2.1% from the previous month and 24.2% from a year ago. Realtors say they haven't seen those kinds of price increases since at least 2004. Association officials say they've also seen a dramatic shift from foreclosure sales to short sales in the past year, and they expect the trend to continue. Short sales accounted for a record 46% of sales in December, while foreclosures accounted for 10%. Federal land managers have identified the wide range of issues that must be addressed to move forward with a proposal to establish a wild horse echo sanctuary over 820 square miles of northeast Nevada. The Bureau of Land Management issued a 228-page public sco scoping document on Tuesday that will be used to develop a range of alternatives for the plans by Madeline Pickens and Saving America's Mustangs to develop the Echo Sanctuary about 25 miles southeast of Wells. The idea is to give visitors an up-close look at free-roaming Mustangs, while at the same time ease the need for the BLM to remove horses from the range and ship them to costly holding facilities, mostly in the Midwest. The Caucus Deli, a business enterprises of Nevada, or Ben facility, celebrated its successful renovation with a ribbon cutting today at the restaurant located on the first floor of the Legislative Council Bureau building in Carson City. The remodeling cost an estimated $45,000, which was $17,000 under budget. The funding for the remodeling project was generated from the revenue collected by the operations of all Ben food and bending sites statewide. Thus, no taxpayer dollars were spent on this renovation. Approximately 2,300 self-employed men and women who are legally blind operate businesses across the country under the Randolph Shepard Act, which gives people who are blind the priority right to run bending facilities in government buildings. The average annual income of these entrepreneurs is about $56,000, and they provide employment to an additional 14,000 individuals, who, of whom about 1,700 are people with disabilities, including blindness. I'm Deanna O'Donnell. That's your news across Nevada.